Okay? So let's say the, uh, the equation is y equals x squared. And let's say I want to know the center of mass of that, right? Object. So it's gonna, it looks like it's going to be somewhere about here, right? So it starts at 0, 0. And let's say the last point is uh, 416. So this is this point is 40. This top point will be 416. Okay. So we're going to assume here that the, it is uniform, so it's made of the same material. So how do we find the center of mass of this? Well, it's going to have two components: center of mass, x center of mass, and y center of mass, right? So I'm going to start out with x center of mass equals x dm over integral dm. This time, since it's a two-dimensional object, I'm going to define something else known as surface mass density, OK? So sigma is surface mass density. And is defined as dm over dA, kilogram per meter squared. So it tells you how much mass is concentrated per unit length. So now, if I want to know what dm is, dm, therefore, is sigma dA. So then I put that in here. Sigma dA, sigma dA, sigma cancels. If it's uniform, it comes out, it comes out, it cancels, cancels, cancels. Then I want to choose an appropriate dA, OK? So a, an area element. <clears throat> now, for to do center, x center of mass, here's the dA that I have to choose. I have to choose a vertical rectangle. OK? Because the x, d, dm, the x is the distance of that from the y-axis. You see? x, 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 x. So if, if I choose a vertical uh, rectangle, all portions of that rectangle are equidistant from the y-axis, right? So the distance from the y-axis to that is all going to be x. So that's going to be my dA. Could I have chosen horizontal rectangle? As my dA to find the x set of mass, what I have done like this. over dm, and then x uh, dA over integral dA. So the dA would have been the area of that rectangle. The answer is no. You can't do it that way. Why? Well, not just because the teacher says you can't, but because that element is not equidistant from the y-axis. The left side of the element is closer. The right side of the element is farther away. So all points of the, that element are not equidistant. So when you're trying to find its x center of mass, this portion has a different center of mass. This portion is farther. This portion is farther, so on. But this, if I choose a vertical, each portion has the same x center of mass, you see? So then I could just do x times dA, and then I can integrate over all the dA's of, the, of that uh, graph, you see? So you can't choose a horizontal to do x center of mass. But then later when I show you the y center of mass, then we'll do the horizontal. Okay, so then you're going to have, so what's going to be the dA of that? It's going to be y times dx, right? The height times the width. So it's going to be y dx over integral dA, which is y dx, right? And at that point, 
you can substitute the equation. So what is the equation? Y is equal to X squared, right? From 0 to 4, 0 to 4. And then you get what here? x cubed, integral of that is x to the fourth over 4. x cubed, uh, this one is x cubed over 3. 0 to 4, 0 to 4. 4 to the fourth over 4 divided by 4 to the third over 3. And then 0 just gives you 0. So what is that there? 4 cubed cancels one of those. So just like I said before, it should again just come out some coefficient times the x uh, length of it, right? So it's going to be 3 quarters times 4. So it's going to be 3. So x center of mass is right about here then, right over here at the 3, the third way mark. Now, if it had been a rectangle, a complete rectangle, where would its x center of mass have been? It would have been 2, right? So the fact that this portion of it is missing made what? The center of mass moved over. You see, it makes sense. OK, now let's do y center of mass. So y center of mass, this one changes to y. For the x, there's always two components, x center mass, y center mass, for two-dimensional objects. And then for three-dimensional objects, you're going to have x, y, z. I think in Calc 3, they might do that, right? Uh, three-dimensional objects, they ask you to find the x, y, z component. So uh, you're going to have y. Now, to do the y center mass, the area that we choose are the horizontal areas, OK? So why do you choose the horizontal? All portions of that rectangle are what? Equidistant from the x-axis. They have the same y. Could you choose vertical rectangle? No, you see? For y, you can't choose vertical. For x, you can't choose horizontal. So now, what's the area of that? Um, uh, the, yeah, what's the area of that? Well, what is its length? Don't always assume that the area, the, the, the dA vector, the dA, um, don't always assume the dA is x dy. Sometimes people just are automatically, they're, they're so used to saying dA is y dx. And then when they get to the horizontal one, they say dA is x dy. They just switch them, you know. That's a common test mistake. You can't do that. You know, you got to look at your graph. You got to say, what's my length here? This is a, from here to here is x, right? So this portion would be what? 4 minus x, you see? So that's my dA. The dA is 4 minus x times what? dy. The thickness is dy, and the length is 4 minus x. So that's the, the DA that you need here. Okay, now I can put the equation of my line, right? Y equals X squared. But now comes a good question I'm going to ask. Do I have to do the integral in terms of y? In, in other words, since this is dy, do I have to solve for x, x equals square root of y, and put square root of y there? Or can I, if I want to, do the integral in terms of x? 